Bugs me and some pet food. Every week we go to a house or get a call about ants or roaches and the dog food or the cat food. I'm going to tell you how to fix it. Number one, don't leave the food out all the time. Do not leave Fluffy's kibbles sitting out all day and all night. Feed them at certain times of the day. We eat certain times of the day, right? We eat, uh, you know, we're hungry at 8, we're hungry at noon, we're hungry 5 or 6, 7, 8 for some people, 9 or 10 for some other people. Our bodies are conditioned when it's time to eat. And we allowed our pets to just eat whatever, whenever. Now, let me ask you, what happens to your cheeseburger if you leave it out all day? probably not going to be any good, right? Well, part of that is because it's losing nutrients. It's it's just no good. It starts to go bad. It's food. It starts to decay. What do you think happens when you leave Fluffy's food out all day? Same thing. And not only that, they can just go snack whenever they want. And a lot of times we get a bunch of fat animals. They seem to have a little bit more control than we do, but it's still not good for them. So the solution, especially if you've got roaches, you've got to put that food up. You've got to put it up. Condition them. Now the dogs are a, little, are a little easier than the cats to do, but it's not that hard and you're not going to hurt that, your precious little animal by doing this. So feed them at whatever intervals However many times a day works for your schedule. It really doesn't matter. But never leave it out more than about 15 minutes. So in my house, the easiest way is we get up in the morning, get ready for school and work. We feed the dog. 15 minutes, if she hadn't needed it all, we put it back. And when we come home from school and work, we feed the dog. We leave it out for about 15 minutes, and whatever she doesn't eat, we put it back. So guess what happens when she hears mommy and daddy getting up? Oh, it's time to eat. Or when she hears the car pull up in the driveway, oh, it's time to eat, right? Now, the first time you're going to do this, you're going to take the dog and say, here's your food. The dog is going to go, and it's always there. And they may or may not eat. That's okay. But in 15 minutes, put it up. Now, they're probably going to look at you funny again. That's okay, too. If you're consistent and do it the same times every day, no matter how many times, whatever time, it doesn't matter. As long as it's consistent, you will train that animal when it's food time. Okay? And believe it or not, the cats can learn. Don't tell me they can't because I know they can what you're do- what you're doing here is you're depriving the bugs of a food source. You're giving them one less reason to bug you, okay? Now, sometimes we we're going to be gone all day. We're going to be going on an overnight vacation or something. You got to leave a little extra food out. I get it. So here's a trick. Take the food bowl and put it in a shallow tray a cookie sheet, a baking sheet, whatever, and put water in that and put the food bowl in the middle of it. Guess what? They can't swim. And as the little ant scouts are running around, they're not going to be able to find the food. When you see an ant trail, they're not following each other visually. They're doing it by pheromones, by smells. So, You would kind of be appalled at what comes and goes through your house that you never see, you never find out about, right? I'll spare you. But when the ants go out, they send out these scouts, and they're just going everywhere, looking for food, looking for food. They'll go this, oh, nothing there, oh, we'll go there, we'll go there. But when they find that food, that's when she starts laying a pheromone trail back to the nest, And that tells all her little sisters, 
hey, there's food that way. And now you've got that trail going to Fluffy's food bowl. So that's what you want to avoid. With the roaches, it's pretty bad, okay? So the more you feed roaches, the more roaches have to eat, the faster they multiply. And, you know, when we eat, we go somewhere, we'll get a meat, we'll get a, a, a carb, we'll get a, a vegetable, sometimes, uh, something to drink, we'll get all these different things, right? So in a kibble, it's got all that junk rolled into one. So at different times, different um, ants feed on different things, different times of the year. So whatever they're wanting to feed on, that kibble's got it, okay? So you want to restrict them from it. Uh, and like I said, the roaches, anything you can do not to feed the roaches, because they'll eat each other. They don't care. So stop leaving the pet food out. You're just making it worse, okay? And here's the thing. I could do a treatment and kill everything and more will come and my materials there to stop them too but if enough of them come they're going to use it up and they're going to break through the defenses but if you didn't have something they wanted so bad like kibbles then they wouldn't bother and you would be bug free <laughs> you want to what bugs me bugs in kibbles and bits but I love to kill them Remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way.